People living in the Kermak and Asosa districts earn their living by engaging in a number of economic activities. Some people are employed in well-paid, professional jobs. On the contrary, some work is time-consuming, tiring and unrewarding. Traditional gold mining is an example of a very physically demanding yet unprofitable business. In spite of the miners' extremely hard work, their incomes were very low. One person working day in and day out mining for very little reward was Arba Ahmed. Today, thanks to the project of Farm Africa, life in Kermuk and Asosa has dramatically improved. Farm Africa worked with appropriate technical experts of relevant government organisations in Kermuk and Asosa districts to mobilise communities and help participatory forest management cooperatives to produce and sell incense. The first activity was establishing and organising the PFMCs. In the three districts, the project established a total of 31 PFMCs, engaging both in honey and incense production. <laughs> A total of 3,188 cooperative members received support, of which 433 participated in training in incense production. The project provided various types of training focused on production and post-harvest handling during the incense production season. The project has developed market linkages and helped the farmers to participate in the bargaining process in order to secure higher prices for their incense. In the last two years of the project, in addition to protecting the forest, the PFMCs have managed to earn more than 4.5 million baht in revenue from the sale of incense. Then, 
አንዳንድ ቀበሌዎች አሉ ወደ 3 ቀበሌዎች አሉ በይጣን ከዚህ በፊት በኢንቨስተሮች ነው ሲጣቀፍ የነበረው ሲጣቀመ ባራፍት ነው ሲጣቀመ የነበረው በይጣን አሁን ግን በራሱ ማህበረሰብ ተከሎለት በራሱ አምርቶ ባላሃብት የሚያገኘው ጥቅም እንደ ተመለሰ አሁን ያገኘ ያለው ማለት ነው አንድ ኮንዳል በ10000 በ12000 ማህበረሰቡን ያሸተ በጣም ግንዛቤ ፈጥሮላቸው በጣም በሚገባ ጥቅም እንደ ጠንካራጎን አርሶደር እንደተጠቀመው እንደ ጠንካራጎር ነው የወሰነው As the project has contributed to enhancing the capacity of the government institutions and experts there are therefore favorable conditions for other NGOs with similar projects in the future as there is the required capacity within the sectors